All right, so this video is going to be a quick one on the uh, on the whole NFL kneeling, and they like they reverse their their, uh, um, their stance, and they're going to let people they're going to let them kneel. I say let them do it. It's all good. My my my, I've softened I've softened my um, my stance on this because I don't. Hey, you know what? I don't care. Football is not life for me. Football is not something that I'm just have to watch. And all you uh, so-called or, or fake conservatives that are sitting back and going to let these people, that's going to sit back and, and uh, tell these people they can't do this and blah, blah, blah. Hey, you know what? Hey, vote. Like I said before, vote with your freaking pocketbook or your wallet. Vote with your wallet. That's all you got to do. Vote with your wallet. If you don't freaking if they if they're not doing what you want them to do and they want to get political because like I've said before I don't agree with it either. Seventy four people shot by police in one I mean, by, by, by police seventy four people shot and on the streets of Chicago on uh, uh, in one week in freaking May and they're and they're kneeling behind some goddamn pol or one police shooting every whatever many months in 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 or once or twice a year. Or whatever it is. That, and something that might seem suspect. The last one wasn't suspect at all. For some strange reason, the media has completely disavowed that one. And they don't even, they, they didn't even say anything about it after they jumped on it. Just freaking with both feet in, Navy SEAL style, jumping out of a, out of a freaking helicopter. That's the way, that's how hard they jumped on it. And then now they're suddenly gone. So I don't care. I don't care. I don't understand why these people have to. Why people have to sit back and try to make these people stay. If they want to stay, kneel for it, make them look like freaking. They're idiots. Let them be idiots. Let them be idiots and freaking kneel. It's fine. Let them do it, and then just don't watch. Go find something else to do. Go find something else to do. The all the um. The uh, people that are reporting on it, the uh, the media and stuff, um, uh, Fox News, the people that, which because obviously Fox does have a slant, and tend up talking about how low the numbers are for viewership. Who gives a crap? Don't even out. Why do you even? Why are you even giving it that? The, the viewership is low. Who cares? We're winning. Who cares? Go find something else to do. That's all you got to do. Go find something else to do. Go play with your kids. Go uh, go find a hobby. Go work out. Half of you are fat as hell anyway. Go work out. Go find something else to do. Let them be stupid. Let them do it. Instead of trying to make them do what you want them to do. That's all I got to say about that. This is freaking ridiculous. Start voting with your wallet. That's all you have to do. Stop trying to change things because you don't like the way it's going. Hey, let them do it. And that's what I'll do. I don't agree with what they're doing, so I won't watch. Like I've said before in previous videos, I didn't watch much in the first place. I'm more of a motorcycle racing fan and, uh, uh, you know, motocross, motorcycle racing, MotoGP, World Superbike. That's me. And car racing. So, now nah, I, I could really care less. But anyway, if they decided to do that in that, guess what I would do? I would stop watching. It would be that easy for me. I don't care. So show that you're going to let these people have freedom to do what they want to do and just don't freaking watch. This is not freaking rocket science. This is not rocket science. This is not some kind of like 4D chess upside down underwater. Like I said before, this is not hard. Just don't freaking watch and then see what happens. Let the chips fall where they may. If, I, if you have to go 10 years without watching football, who gives a crap? Anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that, and we'll see you in the next one.